हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ लाइफ ई टॉक्स मैं हूं आपकी दोस्त और होस्ट राव्या साडा और हर हफ्ते की तरह मैं लेकर आई हूं आपके लिए एक नया कॉन्वर्जेशन एक नए गेस्ट के साथ आज हम बात करेंगे फ्रेंचाइजी की जब मैं ये वर्ड कहती हूं फ्रेंचाइजी ऐसे कौन से ब्रांड्स हैं जो आपके दिमाग में पहले आते हैं लेट मी नेम ऑफ यू के एफ सी डोमिनोज पिज्जा हट सबवे मैरियट होटल्स सो दीज आर ऑल इंटरनेशनल ब्रांड्स What about Indian brands? Why are our Indian brands not global? To answer all these questions, we have Dinal Bakshi today with us. Dinal Bakshi is the founder of Franchisee Insider. Franchisee Insider focuses on performance management, business strategy, time management and goal setting. Let's know more about franchisee consultants from the man himself, from Dinal Bakshi. Let's welcome him. Hi Dinal welcome to Lifey Talks uh, how have you been Yeah I am fine Ravya good afternoon Thank you thank you for coming to our show and joining us uh, so Dinal franchisee consulting is one of the co- concepts which is gaining more importance in the last few years and uh, this is why I wanted to know more um, about franchisee franchisee consulting so before I shoot questions so can we uh, have a small introduction about you Yeah sure why not Yeah so basically I am a banker turned into a franchisee consultant mm-hmm. or you can say as an entrepreneur okay so the journey started in 2011 when i left my job and it's been like a decade now into in this business and okay we have like today serving more than 100 plus clients and more than thousands of clients we have advised for franchisee okay. so who wants to take a franchisee for them so this is at presently what we do Okay, so Dinal, let me first ask you the basic question: Who are franchisee consultants? What exactly does a franchisee consultant do? Because the role is not widely discussed as such. Outreach yeah. बहुत है, but it is not discussed. And uh, this role plays a major role uh, uh, in the industry's growth. What is the work process? See now, if we see franchisee consultant job role, we mm. carry a expertise from various businesses. So, okay. if you today ask me what is how retail works, how food works, how e-commerce franchisee works, or mm. maybe an education in that case, so we carry a knowledge from all the sectors. Okay. Now, when uh, now there is a gap in the market that any brands who mm. wants to go wants to expand, they don't know how to do it. right so either they can expand on in their own that is one case so they needs a capital mm. which always will be a challenge mm. either they can have a funding or maybe they can borrow a loan mm. so that's a when we are, and franchise is a third way which is a very beautiful business model okay so if you take franchise as a business mm. you get a, a promoter or an owner so he is going mm. to tell about your brand everywhere okay. second thing he is going to market your brand that i have bought this franchisee yeah. and third thing he is also going to invest and also going to operate the show right. so in this case this makes a very good win win situation yeah. for a brand who wants to expand right now na- na- yep yeah. then second thing comes is a franchisee seeker hmm. so what happens most of the people say i want to start my own business correct But what happened correct. they are not aware which sector to enter which brand to invest what mm. are the processes sops or what is his strength of doing that business mm. so in both these cases we as a franchisee consultant play a very important role mm. whether it is a franchisor or a franchisee okay so that's what our core job of a franchisee consultant is. okay so franchisee consultants ko ye knowledge hona bahut zaruri hai about all the businesses they should have a genuine interest in entrepreneurship and understand uh, business basics in order to help candidates and choose the right franchisee yeah that's true am i right so i'm on the right way and i'm on the right path abhi tak to correct yeah yeah okay so tell me why franchisee consultant is a must uh, for franchisees so see if we say uh, see this business globally mm. uh, if we take this concept is from usa and if we see most of the concepts are from usa itself mm. so in usa 80% of the business are franchised 
so if you say all the hotel chains you name it in india are franchised even films like fast and furious 7 8 series all are franchise series okay. schools colleges restaurants so this concept has been uh, uh, taken into india from usa right and currently uh, india has around 15% of only the brands on franchise Mm. if you compare to us it has 70 to 80% brands on franchise mm-hmm. so there is a huge market the only gap is people don't know how to do or how to take a help of a franchisee consultant mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. there we play a better role okay. so that's one point where i will emphasize on to it as a franchisee consultant acha okay but jo aapne abhi ek point raise kiya aapne bataya that uh, maximum brands are uh, brands which are from outside so yeah. uh, before we started before the introduc- introduction also i was talking about the same thing um, i was saying that major brands jab hum baat karte hain to hamare dimag mein aata hai franchisee jab hum word sunte hain hamare yeah. dimag mein jo brands aate hain wo hai mcdonalds pizza hut yeah. marriott dominos yeah. subway yeah. so these are all all international brands but what about indian brands why are indian brands are not global so uh, it's a very beautiful understanding of yours and it's a really good uh, thing which you noted the point mm-hmm. now if we when like we are we also do many seminars and talk show so when i ask tell me any brand about franchises so everyone say mcdonald or today most of the people call me they'll say i want to buy a mcdonald mm. so this is where the uh, uh, mindset is that franchisee means mcdonald right. and ideally the hero is also the mcdonald itself in franchisee if we say right. so uh, see what happens if you say mcdonald then it is not the burger which is unique but it is the process is very unique same is with the subway the process they do is unique so mm-hmm. when we go to any mcdonald store or any subway or in case any of the brands which are franchised well mm-hmm. we get the similar kind of experience at all the stores mm-hmm. we get similar kind of foods at all the stores yes. so now uh, what has happened like probably if we see 30 40 years back indian mm-hmm. brands always wanted to expand on their own so if you even ask in a family that i want to start my own business to koi franchise nahi lena chahiye aisa hi bolenge hmm. but now that mindset has started ki nahi aap franchise hi lete hain so but by the meantime even brand and also at that mindset ki main mera brand name kisi aur ko kyu do hmm. so that was also a point so we were not that much developed with this both the words means both the psychology okay. so today if you see brands have started evolving Mm-hmm. and most of the businesses can be technologically connected very well so they can operated also technologically well and they can uh, we can also see the systems like cctv cameras all softwares are in place mm-hmm. so this makes the system very strong mm-hmm. so probably this is the one reason i see now indian brands have a huge scope to expand okay but in the past we were struggling with all these things so mm-hmm. we see many few brands are going on a franchise Okay. Also, people brands in today India. I say there is a huge scope for tier two, tier three city brands to expand, mm. at least in their state or maybe at a national level. International is a different game, but mm. these two possibilities are there for all the brands, mm. tier two, tier three cities, oh. and with not major of the investments. Also, they have to just develop a good franchise system. So, mm. successful franchise system is most important. it's very important right and uh, let's talk about benefits of having a franchisee consultant see benefit as i told you uh, we carry an experience of almost all the businesses okay we being uh, connected with the brand promoter mm-hmm. we know in and outs of everything mm-hmm. so if you say that today you want to invest into a stock so maybe a good rakesh junjunwala or warren they know everything about the company and then they invest right. so right. we are a rakesh junjunwala for our company so we know everything so that's why we name it as a franchisee insider so we know everything about the brand hmm. so where we can open a store how much profit he can make it what is the strength of a franchisee seeker whether he wants to be just an investor or he wants to be an active partner into it so hmm. all these things we have made an sops for all these things we have a set of questions we hmm. do due diligence for the brand also and for the franchisee seeker also hmm. so if that matches so like a matchmaker we say this is an ideal franchisee for you 
Okay. So basically you are a matchmaker between the yep. franchisee and the franchisor. Yeah. Correct. ओके ये बड़ा ही अच्छा यू नो रिलेशनशिप आपने बताया सो यू आर वन ऑफ द लीडिंग फ्रेंचाइजी कंसल्टेंट्स इन इंडिया व्हाट सेट्स यू एज द टॉप परफॉर्मिंग वंस एज द टॉप परफॉर्मिंग फ्रेंचाइजी कंसल्टेंट्स सो सी हियर एज अ लीडिंग प्लेयर आई कैन से इट इज मोर अबाउट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट नाउ Uh, I can say that one thing. Being a banker, I used to sell different products like art fund, real estate fund, offshore fund. So right. this all are like a on paper format products. So mm-hmm. when I go to someone, sir, you invest in a mutual fund. There is nothing physical, right? Mm-hmm. So same is any brand comes to me from a physical store. I make them a franchisee on a paper store. So that's what the how I product is developed. Now we taking uh, getting all this expertise. How it works is. I will decide whether it is an Oppo phone, Vivo phone, or iPhone, or a OnePlus. So that category also, I'll fix it out mm. on the basis of that entire due diligence. I'll create a product. Now this product has to be marketed well. So right. our expertise comes into development of a product, then mm. marketing of that product. If the product is marketed well, we get a right franchisee candidate for that product. Mm. So for me, all the brands are a one product. now at some stage of point many brands comes to us and they say are we ready for franchisee mm-hmm. so we do that due diligence and if they are not ready we will say up front sir you do all these steps and then you come enter into this world okay so otherwise you will face more in challenge you yeah, tell them directly it. this yeah 100% oh, okay so dinal one question i have here uh, as a franchisee consultant does listening and communicating uh, these play a major role in uh, brands in networking the brands uh, absolutely okay See, being a consultant my hmm. core job is to listen hmm. so i have to listen from both the side so when a new brand comes to us he will tell his entire story or a maybe a journey of success and failures hmm. and what he has done and what is his vision so that is where my listening comes into it Okay. And in other side, when a franchisee seeker comes, then also he starts speaking that I am doing a job, I want to quit my job, or maybe I am doing a business, I want to diversify my funds for my daughter or maybe son. So they also share their entire journey to me and their goals. So listening is the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The second point is communicating. communicating so yes. yeah. So communication with them comes very well once I listen to them with. Okay. Right. so yep. i can formulate my uh, what is this exact needs for the brand and then uh, uh, both way it works also communicating digitally is important nowadays for all these brands and also mm-hmm. for franchisee seeker so okay. that also plays a very major role in today's time okay so they say uh, the sharper uh, listening and communication skills are the more successful a person is and uh, yeah. i think it is rightly said okay so dinal can we uh, go step by step how a franchisee consultant helps the franchisors jaise aap maan lijiye agar main aapke paas aayi hu right and uh, if i am a if i am a franchisor and if i want your help how is the process taking place what is the step by step process So uh, I'll say what we did. Uh, we developed an entire scientific approach behind this. Hmm. So first step is I'll ask somebody to visit my website. Okay. We have uh, around three to four pages of questionnaires. So hmm. you start from your company name, hmm. when it was founded, then what is your vision, what is your goal, are you cash flow positive, all these questions. Also, from our experience, we have add some realistic case scenarios. Like few of the questions, I can say, if COVID comes into the case and your franchisee is not able to pay the salary, so okay. what you as a franchiser will do? Uh-huh. So this kind of questions helps us to understand the psychology of a brand who okay. comes to us. Then- so after this entire form comes to me, we okay. do due diligence. I'll visit his website and everything is there. Hmm. This these are all paid uh, sessions like doctors usually charge. We also charge them fees, and we will do entire due diligence, and we will give them a due diligence report from our side. Okay. okay. Uh, after the form, we arrange one meeting. It can be physical, I mean, or it can be online. Both the modes are possible. Hmm. Then we will understand more personally. 
second thing then a, a report is generated and given to him now we uh, from that he can analyze it that whether he should go on a franchisee or not so mm. if i have said at currently you are not at this stage then i'll put the, all those points that these are the points which you need to put in your system and then you should go it and if you are ready then these are the things which you should do it if you want to expand fast okay and we as a company have made a policy that to at this times we are looking for an aggressive brands who wants to expand faster mm-hmm. see because uh, like previously we used to see that business as a 10 years of horizon but now those gaps are reducing to 3 to 5 years so mm-hmm. any new concept you bring into it and you are not aggressive someone mm-hmm. else will come into it and he'll capture the market Correct. so we always see that a aggression of a promoter is most important in today's time mm-hmm. okay बट टेल मी वन थिंग जो आप ये सब बता रहे हैं यू नीड टू बी ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर ऑल दीज थिंग्स राइट और ये फ्रेंचाइजी का खेल ये पूरा सरप्लस मनी के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है एब्सोल्युटली सो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन मोर अबाउट सरप्लस मनी एंड फ्रेंचाइजी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन देम ओके so see every person in a journey jaise uh, maybe i have like consulted more than 1000 people mm-hmm. 70% 70% of the people come to me to unke dil mein ek khwahish hoti hai ki apna ek restaurant to hona hi chahiye and i think most of the people agree to this ki restaurant to hona hi chahiye mm-hmm. so now maybe he might be doing a job or maybe he might be doing a business so mm-hmm. in some stage of life he might have missed this Hmm. So now he wants to do or make make his now he has earned money so he wants to make his passion or maybe his dream come true. Okay. So usually he'll say I I can I don't want to develop my own brand but hmm. I want to take some good brand franchising okay. or maybe a good concept which is trending. So he will definitely think for some consultant for this. Okay. So this is where the surplus money comes into it. Mm-hmm. now this person uh, can be uh, working maybe in the age of 35 to maybe 45 years of age group mm-hmm. or maybe a businessman in this age group okay. so we also have those categories like if somebody is getting retired he'll definitely look for a school education kind of option mm-hmm. or maybe an aggressive person will always go for a retail or a food retail. kind of option right yes So these are all psychologies. Like even my father gets retired, he'll always think of a preschool because he loves kids also. And maybe it's a more female-centric business, or maybe an uh, older person business. So okay. these are all how dynamics are been decided. Hmm. So you help in all these places, uh, places, right? These sectors, all of which, whether it's school, wala ho, or whether it's about various different brands, yeah. correct? Food business, retail, school. maybe anything you are the best person to contact for consulting yeah exactly yeah and when we were talking about organizing you people are supposed to be well organized before uh, yeah keep the candidates and franchises on track and informed yeah. through different stages of franchisee development process yeah okay. that's true so uh, tell me one thing if the candidate is not a good match for certain brand आपके पास कोई ब्रांड नहीं है एंड इफ द फ्रेंचाइजी सॉरी इफ द कैंडिडेट इज नॉट अ गुड मैच फॉर द फ्रेंचाइजी ओनरशिप एट ऑल सो व्हाट डू यू डू एट दैट टाइम एज अ कंसलटेंट डू यू मेक दैट क्लियर टू द कैंडिडेट सी नाउ सी व्हाट हैपेंस लाइक आई ऑलरेडी सेड वी आर अ मैच मेकर सो वी हैव 1100 प्लस ब्रांड्स ऑन आवर वेबसाइट लिस्टेड सो वी कैन शो हिम एज मेनी ऑप्शंस ही कैन Hmm. and there are many reasons for not giving him a franchisee maybe his area is not acceptable for that brand okay maybe his budget is also not acceptable for that brand mm-hmm. so sometimes candidate comes with me by an influence that he has visited some specific store and he'll say i want to open this outlet in my area hmm. but we can say we will say him up front that sir this rental or this kind of sales are not viable for you so either you look for another option Mm. or else i would never advise you to take this franchise so mm. we are very upfront mm. also we may have a policy that any of the location as far as in our territory are concerned i'll be the one who we, along with the brand owner would be approving that because okay. location plays around 80% role in the success of that franchise right, right so that that also we do so location is very important that, that we always keep with us so hmm. we will visit the location and say sir this is not viable we will say offer a no to him and i have written check also for in that case to many franchise seekers they first they sign an loi so once hmm. loi is signed we take some amount 
बट इफ दैट लोकेशन इज नॉट फिजिबल विल रिटर्न दैम बैक ओके सो दीज जैसे आपने लोकेशन एक पॉइंटर बताया है आर देर मेनी अदर पॉइंटर्स व्हिच आर सपोज्ड टू बी केप्ट इन माइंड व्हाइल लुकिंग आउट फॉर अ राइट कैंडिडेट अदर देन द लोकेशन या वन इज हिज एज सो व्हाट एज ग्रुप ही सेंड्स एजुकेशन सो समटाइम्स टेक्निकल फ्रेंचाइजीज आर अवेलेबल लाइक ऑटोमोबाइल सेक्टर यू नीड सम टेक्निकल नो हाउ मे बी ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म यू नीड इट दिस कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स the hmm. most important factor along with this is his family motivation so sometimes what happens he starts a business going against the family so whenever the trouble comes you also know entrepreneur journey hai to bhale thoda aasan hai but family will say ki nahi 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 karna chahiye tha job nahi chhodni chahiye thi right, right, so right. all these sector factors matter him so motivation from the family is important criteria hmm. so we always ask that whether family is with you or not Right. Yeah. Then yeah. comes location, and then comes like, along with location comes rental. So, if mm-hmm. rental is not better, then business will not be viable. Okay. Uh, also, also one important aspect is his marketing understanding. So, whether he is willing to spend on marketing or whether he understand new ages of marketing tools, so these all are factors where we focus on. Okay. Now, one question which comes to my mind is. Um, ये मैंने बहुत बार देखा है हमारी फैमिली में भी देखा है राइट सो जनरल इंडियन टेंडेंसी जो होती है ना कि ठीक है आज मेरे पास घर है और घर मेरा अपर फ्लोर में है सेकंड फ्लोर थर्ड फ्लोर ठीक है वहां से घर की शुरुआत होती है जो नीचे जो ग्राउंड फ्लोर है ग्राउंड फ्लोर का जगह खाली है एंड इट्स इन द हाउस इज इन द मार्केट एरिया इट्स इन द हार्ट ऑफ द सिटी सो एज अ मारवाड़ी और एज यू नो अ बिजनेसमैन एक टेंडेंसी ये होती है कि हाँ जगह खाली है जगह खाली है ना तो एक फ्रेंचाइजी ओपन कर लो यहाँ पर बराबर यहाँ तक वो सोच सीमित है कि फ्रेंचाइजी ओपन कर लो कि हमारे पास अच्छी खासी जगह खाली है और यहाँ पर ओपन कर लो बट इफ द पर्सन हैज अदर बिजनेस ऑल्सो राइट एक उनका एक अलग बिजनेस है बट एक माइंड सेट ये है कि सिर्फ जगह खाली है यहाँ पर और ये दे दो हाउ डज दिस वर्क बिकॉज उनको ऐसा लगता है कि फ्रेंचाइजर जो है वो अपने बंदे दे देगा और किसी को बिठा देंगे यहाँ पे इतना इनफ होता है इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सो यूजली देर आर थ्री फोर वेरियस फ्रेंचाइजी ऑप्शन सो जैसे हमारे में शॉर्ट फॉर्म में हम कहते हैं फोर फोर फ्रेंचाइजी ओन्ड फ्रेंचाइजी ऑपरेटेड Okay. there is another format called franchise owned company operated store okay. so few skills like in a food if you say you want to set up a south indian restaurant or maybe a bigger size north indian restaurant yeah. that skill set is very tough so aapko koi tandoor wala dhoondna hai uske piche yeah. mehnat karni hai so even though you like to cook a food but you cannot manage that right. so there we work on a foco model so those are called franchise owned company operated तो यू योर जॉब इज लिमिटेड टू फाइनेंस लोकल लाइजनिंग एंड पी आर एट योर लेवल सो विच यू ऑलरेडी आर इन टू दैट बिजनेस सो यू हैव अ गुड पी आर कनेक्शन यू आर लोकल सो लाइजनिंग इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल एवरीथिंग इज मैन फोफो इज लाइक फॉर लाइक इफ यू से एन आइसक्रीम आउटलेट इट डजेंट नीड मच ऑफ अ स्किल्ड लेबर या कोई पैक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करना है रिटेल स्टोर बेचना है तो दो आर वेरी इजी यू टू जस्ट स्टैंड आप भी प्रोडक्ट बेच सकते हो right because everything is bar coded everything is stacked so there we always propose a four four model okay. so these are the two models which works in nowadays there are other different models but there are there's a those are for very bigger kind of investments probably like 4 5 6 7 crores also hmm. and franchisee has a n number of uh, amount it can go to 10 cr also okay so this is how and uh, this works and there are different models in this right so people yeah. basically need to understand it ओके सो आपको कितना टाइम लगता है टू आइडेंटिफाई अ राइट कैंडिडेट टू इन्वेस्ट इन अ फ्रेंचाइजी बिकॉज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एन आइडियल कैंडिडेट फॉर ईच ब्रांड एंड इन्वेस्टिंग इन अ फ्रेंचाइजी बिकॉज फ्रेंचाइजी में इन्वेस्ट करना मतलब इट्स अ लॉन्ग लाइफ डिसीजन तो हाउ मच टाइम डज इट टेक फॉर यू टू आइडेंटिफाई so same i i made a process for a franchisee also so if somebody is seeking a franchisee he has to fill up a perfect franchisee match form on our website same set of questions are asked 
so like what is his age what is his family background Mm-hmm. Again, the important question is where is getting the funds from. So, किसी ने property बेच के आया है, किसी के पास ancestral funds आया हुआ है, किसी के पास job छोड़ के बाद job में से आ रहा है, somebody is taking a loan. So, all these questions makes me understand that how serious the candidate would be, what efforts he is going to put into it, right? अगर मैं आज job छोड़ के business करने वाला हूँ, तो definitely my stake is huge on this. So, th- this helps me better. once this form is filled up we, we do a consulting online or offline as a normal process we show him different models as per his budget aspect that some will say that i want to invest between 30 to 50 lakhs into a fnb sector so i will show him five options in the fnb sector which all with everything that who is the promoter what is the story behind them i'll explain every financial aspect of this and what is the threat or what is the risk opening this franchise and what is the benefit he has to do it mm-hmm. so ideally if somebody is very focused sometimes the deal gets click in 15 days or a normal time is 15 to 3 months okay so what happens first time client comes to us he understands that then mm. probably if it is food we will take him for a visit to an outlet he will taste the foods then comes the location so it is a 3 month process so ideally mm-hmm. 15 to 30 uh, 40 60 days is what a tat we keep for a franchise seeker okay so here people need to know that rome was not built in a day you need to have exactly. patience and empathy because yeah. investing in a franchise can take months 3 months yeah. at least yeah minimum 3 months you are changing lives of uh, people through franchising every day now tell mm-hmm. me what excites you more about your work see uh, indirectly i am a creating a huge employment hmm. probably uh, like i say if i have awarded 50 franchisee with a normal five people in each store so you imagine to 50 people employment with probably i making my own company won't have been possible but this creates a huge employment and if even you go through the statistics franchisee business gives up, uh, has a huge stake into employment as of now in india because mm-hmm. major businesses are food and education so our 70 to 80% comes from this and that's the industry where education or maybe food has a maximum employment so that's the one thing again creating a challenging franchise system mm. so that is also very important to us every brand has its own logic every brand has its own system mm. so that also helps us out or keep me challenged and motivated okay okay so What I understand is ये career सबके लिए नहीं है ये मेरी understanding है but let me get it from you that is this career option right for anyone or everyone because the skills and traits required the knowledge required are significantly different which contributes to a brand's success there's a lot of effort right so आप बताइए मुझे so this is an this is a good career option for people who has a good passion for understanding different businesses that mm-hmm. is first point we we'll look into it or maybe somebody who has a financial background can understand numbers also well right uh, uh, and people like us who can help them out to be a good franchisee consultant that is also one way of doing it mm-hmm. and india i say there is a huge potential for this business probably if you say in usa there are what around 30000 or franchisee brokers or consultants so they have a different category brokers are different consultants are different okay. so they have thousands franchisee yeah franchisee consultants are thousand plus and brokers who just bring the leads from the market and pass it on to franchisee consultants yeah okay. so there is a difference between a franchisee consultant and a franchisee a broker. broker okay yeah. so he just brings he is a referral partner he gets the leads rest everything consultants manages with the brand owner Okay, so tell me one thing: Why should people or brands uh, take business advice or business consulting or services from you, from franchisee insider? What, uh, हमने बात की थी what sets you apart? But why should people take your services? See, the most most important part in franchise is hmm. creating a franchise system. So, hmm. as I told you, our experience is, I can say, it's best as of now, because the models which we create. with the understanding is the only aspect which i can say is our usp hmm. so anybody who wants to create a legacy brand then definitely we are the person who can help them with a successful franchise system okay any challenges uh, you face while all this processing 
challenges yeah sometimes what happens uh, a franchise candidate is more clear hmm. but his family members are not clear of the new trends in the businesses so that that mindset it takes a lot of time for us to do it okay another challenge we face on the franchiser side is also the same that they they don't know the potential of their brand sometimes humko aisa lagta hai ki yaar for them it is a baby to wo aisa hi soch raha mera bachcha iim mein padh hi nahi payega but ideally he can go into an iim that's what i understand so same is with that that franchiser uh, undervalued their brands even though they have a huge potential and you imagine india as a country has so many varieties of brands Right. so that we can have a far better brand than usa and we have a scope to expand across the globe nowadays because indians are spreaded across the globe correct correct so, but you need to educate both the parties right yahan par yeah. dono side aapko educate karna hai correct yeah, that's true give me give me three traits of a highly successful franchisee consultant yeah so uh, first thing is uh, expertise of different sectors Hmm. Okay. Now, thing is important is you should able to connect or different various models yeah. and put it with some other business model. Okay. So I can I I understand food, I understand education, I understand retail. So from all these ideas, if somebody comes to me, I can take better better ideas and create a new product. So that is a second USP or skill set which you should have it. and third is uh, as i said it is about more of a knowledge educating skill so you should always have education maybe more reading is what i think it is my strength or a consultant should have because i have to read global businesses also i have to understand indian businesses also and right. probably a brand in tier 2 tier 3 cities has also has a different mindset right. so th- that education via books is most important for somebody to be a successful franchise agent Do you read books? Yeah, uh, probably I have read more than two hundred plus books now. I am a good reader, okay. so I read management books. I read many books, uh, success stories, failure stories. And it's important. Reading is important. Yep. It helps you. Okay, so uh, let's uh, one question which was in my mind since a long time. Let's talk about the DIY uh, process. What happens if a candidate direct, directly goes to the franchisee rather than mm-hmm. seeking help from you? Uh, as i already said we are the insider so we know in and out of the brand right uh, and, and and you see see the beauty of this business aap samne se paisa dene ja rahe ho wo yeah. brand owner so he will say never say no right, right? So why would somebody say no ki sir aap mujhe franchise de dijiye aapko fees kya hai so he would never say no but people like us who are neutral so right. we understand what is that brand where it can work and how it can grow and what is the vision of the promoter so yeah. that is the one reason where you, a diy model fails if he consult us okay and as such we don't charge fees to the franchisee seeker so anyways that is not a loss to him okay so this is the one point they should consider but also you focus on performance management ho gaya ya business strategy ho gaya ya goal setting time management yeah. you have to monitor it right exactly it's always a win win situation if they seek help from oh. you correct exactly Okay, let's talk about your client list. Uh, uh, we have come to end of our session, so jate jate. Let's talk about your client list. How many companies have you worked with closely and successfully? Uh, see, as of now, we have worked with many companies, but last three four months we are working on few assignments which are very good. I can say that. So mm-hmm. one is a brand called Khushbu Ice Cream. So their retail uh, coming up with a store or a normal small cafe. so it's around uh, we have opened 16 outlets the company is from a smaller city or maybe you can say a village in nearby rajkot hmm. and the, the they have a very good vision so they are already having a huge network so we had we have developed them very successfully hmm. then we currently are uh, uh, working for an international courier company so hmm. those is like a very small model you can start with as low as 10000 rupees but hmm. the scope is across india so anybody in smaller villages to till cities we can open up so this is our success story what i see in this brand as a international courier or logistics is a beautiful business nowadays okay then we are we have developed a brand called urban khichdi so it's mm. they sells around 50 plus varieties of khichdi so when they started they were on the one outlet 
today they are having a six outlets and we have developed four brands with them so they sell south indian food also a pizza as a category also and they have a north indian category also so in an all they now operate 14 outlets and mm. all of them are franchised so mm. this is a few success stories uh one recent brand is what we have taken is from amdavad is it's a 40 year old brand and they are third generation entrepreneur okay. so now they want to expand their dairy on franchise so okay. we just open around 11th outlet in 3 months what we are doing it wonderful 3 so months even outlets is a yeah. so this we will be opening around 11th outlet this sunday hmm. so that also impacts more and dairy is a very beautiful business again Okay. It's a daily need product. You can say dairy and sweets. It's a mm. daily need product. Mm-hmm. So it's a good business model. Okay. So one one more question here I want to ask is, a candidate के पास कितना amount होना चाहिए? Uh, what is he looking for? मतलब अगर मैं आपके पास आ रही हूँ as a candidate, मेरे पास एक surplus basic कितना amount होना चाहिए to open up a franchisee? Ideally. as i told that budget can be start from 50000 rupees or it can go to in crores also but it depends on the business model you select like a e-commerce or a home based has a very lesser investment hmm. the earning capacity also is the same then so hmm. bigger the investment the bigger is your roi okay okay so any piece of advice you would like to give uh, before leaving uh, uh just one thing Uh, if you want to create a legacy then you have to expand mm. that's what i say as a franchisee consultant that expansion is must if you want to create a legacy oh, okay so thank you dinal thank you so much for joining you are a business problem solver i will say and yep. if people are looking out to expand their business or if people are looking out to buy franchisee you are the right person to get in touch with yeah right that's so thank true. you again for joining and thank, thank you for you. sharing your journey Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye.